check out all these seashells here guys we got a lot to look through and listen to that ocean that's a pretty one it is a pretty one i think there's another small one right there And I had picked these two here up. I didn't know what these two were. This is the periwinkle. And this is a drill. It's broken, but that's a drill shell. And then, of course, the lettered olive shell. This is South Carolina State shell. That's where we are, South Carolina, near Beaufort. Wow, look at that little tiny well, Steph. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That is a tiny one. Yes, it is. It is like paper thin, too. Beautiful. Look at that welt right here. Another tiny one. Yeah, when you get yeah. close like this, guys, you can see stuff. Yeah, we might have some good stuff right here. Yeah, this is kind of selling some of you really like to do. Right up at the water's edge. Broken piece of the shark I shell. There's a shark I shell. It's broken. There's an auger. Another shark I shell. That one's got the drill hole in it where another univalve is drilled inside the shark eye shell and eaten whatever was well the shark eye that was living in at the moment the little false angel wings Steph what's this a piece of right here it's like a big slipper shell yep that's exactly what it is a really just... big slipper shell that's pretty. Yeah. I really didn't know what it was, but I knew it looked, the shape of it would look different with the orange stripes. So. Yeah, because these come in all kinds of different colors too, depending on whatever shell it's growing on and it's getting its nutrients from. Pretty jackknife razor clam. Lady's finger is what I've always called it. What you got, Oliver? Oh, uh, there you go. Pretty olive smell. The big slipper shell here as well. The slipper. And it's got a barnacle growing on it. And that's the same way it acts on other animals. It attaches just like that barnacle was attached. It attaches to that shell and basically goes wherever that shell goes. What do you love most about being out here, Steph? Everything, can I just say that? <laughs> I like the sand, I like the warm temperature right now. Um, I just like the thrill of what you might see in the next step or two. I just like everything that I see out here, really. Lord has created a, a gorgeous place for us to come and hang out. Wow, that sun is going to be beautiful setting right over here shortly. Guys, this is a great way to stay active. You're, you know, just sitting around and if you live near a beach, of course, and you don't go, you should access a, a great walking place for you. And if, if you don't like to walk, just sit out and enjoy the breeze. Read a book, listen to the music. Just enjoy the beauty around you. Be outside a little bit, fresh air. You don't have to pick up the shells. You don't have to keep the shells. You can just admire them and put them back. Is that our arc shell? We do that with lots of them. Yes, that's a pretty arc shell too. We just happen to have a place to store shells at the moment. Big cockle. So we put shells. As you see, we actually keep a lot of our collection outside because that's the easiest for us. That's why we don't keep a lot of the big delicate stuff because we don't have a place to put it. Oh, that's pretty. 
already. Look how worn that is, guys. All the whorls, you can't even hardly see them now except for the ones that are actually broken open. It's worn so much. It's become so short. It's probably only about five, five and a half inches now. And it probably was nine or so because it would have still been way out here and probably way down here. You want to keep it? Of course. Why, of course. We were just talking about my storage area underneath the house. We keep ours outside, like I said, so we have a place underneath our steps where our ours go. Go look for the orchard. Look at there. I was talking in one of the earlier videos about um, the, the art people do with oyster shells. That's a pretty cool piece. I actually like that. Oh, Lord. Probably coming to a flower bed near you. <laughs> Angel wing is broken on the tip and along the edge but it was a big angel wing oh look at the stone crab claw it's a pretty little whelk it's only about a uh, two inches maybe inch and a half like always we thank you for coming along on the selling video with us we surely enjoy being out here today and we just want to show you this beautiful sunset and we want to thank you all for subscribing to the channel and hit that like button for us all right guys we got the finds from today i hope you guys have enjoyed this um series of shelling and Oliver's gonna pan around and kind of show you guys what we found. All total of what we found. We kept two clam shells. This one is because of the one I told you how thick it was. Look, I mean, that's just crazy. But that's really big too. And this one just because it was really big as well. Uh, arc shell, really big one. It matches the orange big one that I found quite a while back. Some trash, of course. We always find some trash. Uh, bone from something you can tell it's some kind of joint but stone claw stone crab claw I mean some angel wings piece of a paper fig never found this big of a piece of one from a paper fig a little small whelk a really big moon snail or um, I don't think it's a shark eye Shell, but I think it is some sort of moon snail. Got some barnacles growing on it. Pretty cool. We got some little false angel wings. Some razor clams. And then these are a different type of razor clam here as well. Little stone, I mean a little crab um, shell off of his back. A couple really big slipper shells some periwinkles right below that and then some augers this one was probably my favorite little auger look how tiny and it's kind of black and white really pretty A little piece of sea urchin some shark ice shells and moon snails some pieces of coral mile of shells and here are some really pretty lightning whelks we found two really pretty lightning whelks this one's just the tornado and the whorls out of a lightning whelk as well and the rest of these are knobbed whelks got a um, dead man's sea sponge dead man fingers sea sponge a couple of arcs and some docina and coquina some jingle shells three jingle shells there 
turn it over remind you I've always called it the baby's foot you look at the cute little baby's foot pattern in there and a pear whelk and then he's going to show you guys the rest of these knobbed whelks really beautiful colors on some of them clean them. They always have some beach sand. One of those salty reflections. It just helps remind you of where you got it from. And guys, these are always new shells like always. Uh, we try to mention in our videos. Uh, just look at the shells that we have back here. A lot of people want to know what we do with our shells. We're this kind of gives you a little example of what we have. We just have a huge shell collection. We do, and we have lots more around in different flower beds and um, upstairs as well. And we just thank you guys for coming along with us. We hope you, if you haven't yet, hit that like button, and thumbs up, and let YouTube know that you like watching us so that way they'll help promote us as well and show us to other people who've never found our channel yet. And um, make sure you subscribe, tell your family about us, share us on Facebook, visit us on Facebook. We have a Facebook group and a Facebook page for Salty Reflections. So we just thank you guys for coming along with us.